Hey, how's it going? I thought I would come out and do a little test flight in the Beaver because I've changed something on it. So something that I've noticed uh, between my plane and Vicky's plane is that hers seems to handle in the air way better than mine does. And I never really put my finger on it until recently when I was moving the planes around and I, I moved one and then I moved the other. And I realized that the tail of her plane seems to have a bunch more weight on it than mine and there's a reason for that you see i i have a b gearbox and b gearboxes weigh something like i don't know eight pounds or something it, it, it's not very much well vicky has an e gearbox an e gearbox is way significantly more i think it's twice the weight if not even a little bit more than that and the reason is it's it's just bigger and bulkier and it has an electric motor built into it so you got all that extra weight and that's hanging off the back of the plane making the tail heavier. Not to mention her pod is quite a bit lighter than mine because she hasn't crashed it into a river and had to rebuild it with an extra gallon of epoxy. I gotta tell you, a gallon of epoxy weighs a lot. So for those reasons, I decided to move the center of gravity back on my plane. Now, how do you do that? You can't just like redesign a bunch of stuff and like you can move a battery, but I, that's my battery's not heavy enough to move and I needed to move it back and it's already pretty much as far back as it can go. So, there it is there. So I did the only thing that I could do, and I added dummy weight. Dummy weight's weight that has absolutely no purpose to the airplane and its flying ability except for adding weight. So it, does, it serves no useful purpose except for shifting the CG. That is 12 pounds of lead. Owen and I cast that out of a bunch of wheel weights. And then I've gone ahead and just uh, very securely zip tied that to the boom. This is a non-permanent solution for now, just for testing purposes. So of course I crunched the numbers, I did the math, I made sure that it was safe on paper before I'm gonna go up and fly it to make sure it's safe in the air. So anyway, that's the purpose of today's flight. We're gonna go up, we're gonna see how it flies with 12 pounds hanging off the tail. So come on, let's go, uh, let's go see how it does. With our traffic, Cessna, uh, no, Ultralight India and Whiskey Alpha taxing the position runway 31 for departure, which dock? Ha <laughs> ha, Cessna. You can tell I've been flying the Cessna a lot. Alright, we normally do a downwind departure, but I'm solo, it's cold, and I have a headwind. I'm pretty sure I can get to 2,000 feet which is 1500 AGL, which is safe gliding distance to fly directly over the town on our way out of the pattern here. So we're gonna give that a shot, see how it goes. With our traffic, India Whiskey Alpha departing 3-1, uh, be a right turn out, climbing to 1500, heading towards the northwest. Which dock? All right, let's see how it does. Over. 
so it's not super cold, but it's not super warm either. Probably won't stay up for very long. I think I'll drop down into a field and play around a little bit, but then I think I'm going to head back. It's a little chilly. Seems to be handling very nicely. Quite happy with it so far. Having this much fun should be illegal. 
I think I'll quite make it. I might get close, but I think I'm going to need to put some some power on. I think if I left everything just the way it was, I'd just clear the power line, just clear the highway, and land in that field just short of the runway. I don't think I can quite squeeze it across. Maybe though, we'll give it a shot. I really don't want to hit that bulldozer. That'd be bad, I guess. Don't want to hit that transport truck either. <laughs> Cleared the power lines, no problem. Oh yeah, we got it. Almost. <laughs> oh, just short. Well, if that's not a workout for the suspension, I don't know what is. Do a little bit of a downwind takeoff here. Yeah, see, we just, <laughs> I can see the tire marks where I hit just in the dirt before I got to the grass. Probably couldn't see it on camera, but they were there. Uh, 
directly underneath you. I'm at 1,000 feet and descending, getting ready to turn base and final for a 3-1. Okay, got gotcha, your visual. We'll uh, just make a nice wide left downwind for 3-1. Clear the runway. Alrighty. Oh, that's that. Let's go look at a 206. I don't know about you, but if that was me, I'd have been happy with that landing. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to, uh, I don't know, couldn't tease you about saying, let's go look at a 206 then, not show you its landing. So anyway, there's a 206 landing. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the plane away and um, go warm up. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.